As most of us know, from start to finish, the Rings of Power was an absolute disaster. I have no doubt about that, and I'm pretty sure most of you have no doubt about just how bad this series was. So now what we're looking for going into the future is, are they going to course correct? Are they going to do anything to change this disaster? And I, I think the answer to that is no matter what you do, you can't really, you can't really fix this. The first season is already terrible. I think building on that foundation is just silly to me. If I was in Amazon shoes, I would just start from scratch. That would be a lot better than, you know, whatever else they have in mind. Because we do have a, a new rumor where apparently Amazon are going to retool the Rings of Power, which, as I say, you, you're already built on a foundation that is pretty much falling apart. And you're just going to go, oh, well, just keep building on top of it, then, I guess. It doesn't really matter with this series. If it gets better, it still has that that behind it. But they also say that it, that they plan on sidelining current showrunners after first season was more of a failure than they could have, have been anticipated. Now, the thing about this is we're never going to know if the showrunners have been fired, sidelined. Amazon are never going to come out and do that because, as we know, a lot of these corporations do not want to admit to their failures, that mostly they'd rather double down. But if they do have to course correct, they're not going to let us know that. They are not going to tell us what a failure this is. But I have no doubt that Jeff Bezos, after this complete failure, th there's no way he's happy with things. There is no way he is the, you know, the meme of sitting in a bur burning building and just saying, nah, it's all fine. Th there's no way. They know, Amazon know what a disaster this was. Now, in terms of ratings, never going to know that. We're never going to get that information, but I'd, I'd probably say, you know, they had the 25 million samples, not actually watch the whole thing, but samples. Now, that doesn't have any credibility, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure after, if it was 25 million, you better believe that was cut down by episode two, episode three, and so on. We, that's, that's obvious. But in terms of quality, they know this show is not up to scratch. It is terrible. It's just amazing to me that this actually got released, that they actually went this route with it, especially when you're when you're pumping that amount of money into it. But let's see what the, you know, this is a rumor. Again, Amazon are not going to come out and say, yeah, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay have been demoted or whatever it may be because that is admitting to their failure. And that is what it is. We've had House of the Dragon out at the same time. House of the Dragon, in terms of quality, is so much better. And I'm pretty sure more people watch that than Amazon's The Rings of Power. Uh, but they say, with Amazon's live-action bas uh, bastardization of Tolkien's seminal fantasy works, and not only that, just being absolute garbage, uh, works having underperformed by practically... Every metric, a new rumor suggests that the company will be retooling the Rings of Power for its second season that comes in, I don't know, two and a half years, which by that time, most people have forgotten about it. Uh, starting with the sidelining of its current showrunners, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. Now, I would just fire them. They, they are not built. They are not built for showrunning anything, writing anything. Some people just ain't built that way. Sometimes it's better <laughs> to just accept defeat and go, and, I don't know, do whatever you want to do, just not writing. Uh, word of this apparent shakeup was first suggested by noted film critic, industry insider, and film threat founder Chris Gore during an appearance on the 314th episode of the YouTube live stream, Midnight's Edge in the Morning. Uh, discussing the series' first season finale with uh, that day's panel, Gore was eventually asked by host Andre... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the second name. Uh, what have you heard from your peers in the industry? Is everyone so impressed with the Rings of Power like the showrunners suggest we should be? Uh, to which the critic admitted back no. In fact, said Gore, not only were his industry contacts unimpressed with season one because... You know, if you're impressed with the Rings of Power season one, I, I I don't know. I don't really know what to say. But you know, if you've got a if you've got a brain in your head, you know, you can clearly see it's not a good series. 
Uh, but the reception to it was so generally abysmal that Amazon has set out to course correct for season two. And as I say, I don't think that's going to help anything. I don't think there's anything they can do to fix this other than start again and hire people that know what they're doing. People more experienced. I think after at this point, as I say, it's already built on a on a dog shit foundation. Try building on that. It's just going to it's not really going to get anywhere. Uh, but he says, I heard from someone who has a connect to Amazon that if you want to know that effectively they're going to be retooling. And Payne and McKay are more than likely, they're not going to uh, be publicly fired, but their role will be reduced. Uh, potentially just remaining in the writer's room. But my understanding is they're looking for more experienced showrunners. I, I, and the only question that comes to mind is, why the fuck didn't you do that in the first place? I don't know why you got that. Put, put out the disaster. Oh, all right. No, we, we messed up because we hired inexperienced people because Amazon Studios, Studios came to the conclusion that was the best idea. The best people for the job were the people that didn't have experience. That was the conclusion that they said they came to. That they were the best people to get because they didn't have a clue what they were doing. So just to go at this point, all right, now we need more. It's just... Just, you should have done it in the first place. But you didn't. Uh, to this end, Gore detailed that Amazon is well aware of the problems. Before, again, they're, they're not going to admit that. Not going to admit that, uh, because then that would be saying we were all right. And we are right. There's no, there's no getting away. There's no getting away from the fact that this show is terrible. Uh, well, there's what they publicly say. There's also what they're actually doing behind the scenes. And what they're doing behind the scenes is they're freaking out that this was more of a failure than could have been anticipated. As to what has caused the company higher-ups to sit up and get their act together, Gore speculated that there were three key reasons for this change. I think the quality of the show is the number one thing, definitely is. Uh, audience, audiences are like, why am I still watching this? This is sleep-inducing. Well... My answer to that question, I continue to watch it to mock it, because uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, the second thing is the total rejection from fans. You don't have to look far for, far for that. You just have to go on Twitter. You, you won't see a lot of people defending the show. There is some. There's, there's always some with whatever it is. But for the most part, it's just had nothing but been getting mocked. And now we're at the point where people aren't really talking about it anymore, especially in terms of on Twitter. You know, people are still talking about it on YouTube, but everyone else we, we already moved on. Even the people that defended it already moved on to whatever's next. Uh, I can't believe there has to be very few people who remain who still like it. Uh, and thirdly, the direct competition from House of the Dragon, which was, you know, great plan from the start for HBO. They definitely planned that right. Started before the Rings of Power, ended a couple of weeks after the Rings of Power, and completely destroyed the Rings of Power. That's that's just what happened. Uh, if you haven't seen, episode 8 was probably the best episode. Uh, episode 9, kind of an issue at the end. Episode 10, you know, good finish. Finish strong. Uh, even like pre-seed and post-seed of the show's airing. It started earlier and it's ending later, thus keeping it in viewers' consciousness for a longer period of time. Because, uh, yeah, that's even after that's finished, which was just on Monday then, you know, I've already went and bought the Fire and Blood book because I'm, you know, I just, I enjoyed the series. Uh, it was well put together. It wasn't shit like, like the Rings of Power. Though it may be years before Gore's speculation, of course, because this, this series ain't coming out Season two is not coming for like two to two and a half years. I think of that people, people would have already moved on. I think that's that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, is outright confirmed or denied that damningly low audience scores? Oh no, they were they were review bombed by trolls. Yeah, the trolls review bombed a show that was bad. But either way, you know, don't make no difference. It's still a shit series. Uh, on review aggregate sites, Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes make it clear that something needs to be done should Amazon hope to justify their one billion The Lord of the Rings inf investment. And and that's that. Where where is it? Amazon are making their money. They make their money off of new subscribers. I I don't think with this show, P 
people may, you know, sign up for subscriptions when this show was airing. And once they're done, they go, well, I don't need this anymore. So that the, the only way this succeeds is not in viewership. It is in subs subscriber count. That is where Amazon make their money from this show. And, and there's no way. There's no way they've made their money back. There's no way in that. Uh, e even if it, if the viewership is high, which I don't think it is. I, I don't think there's any way that's a high viewership. I think after episode one, people would have started to drift out. Each episode, people would have just given up. So it's going to be interesting to see if it is the case that Patrick McKay, G JD Payne have been have been demoted. I would just take them off the show. Take them off the show. So like they've already come out. They've already called customers, potential customers, fans, patently evil. So right then and there, they should already be off the project, the whole thing. But again, makes no difference at this point. Because you've already you've already started on rocky ground. So it's it's just pointless even trying anything at this point. So we'll see what happens. But again, Amazon are never going to admit. They are never going to publicly fire J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. They are never going to admit that the show is shit uh, because they can't do that. Because that is admitting defeat. 